Hello class, this is Mom Says, signing on. This video lecture will talk about the meaning of object-oriented programming, also known as OOP. Let's begin. An object-oriented program is a collection of interacting objects. Each object is capable of sending and receiving messages and processing data. If we may use an analogy, the object's car, driver, and stoplight shows how OOP behave. So whenever the driver sees the stoplight signal, he will stop the car brake and it will stop. The stoplight sends message to the driver then the driver gives command to the car. Then the car processes the request of the driver. That makes all this object is capable of sending and receiving messages, which makes it an object-oriented program. Java is an object-oriented programming language. In Java program, it may be written like this as shown below. As you can see, we have here our class driver and our object is Joe, the driver. And we have here the class, which is car. And our object is the car name, which is force. And here is the method behaviors or operations or the messages, the exchange of messages between the two objects. All Java programs use objects and every Java program is defined as a class. A class defines the characteristics of an object. So what are the characteristics? This includes the attributes. So what are the examples of attributes? These are the fields. Of properties so example we have here again our class name here is the car and then our object is the the car name which is the my force and again the example of attributes or also known as fields of properties we have the year make model and so on and so forth and these are the values of each field so what are the behaviors or also known as methods, operations, examples of that are accelerate, change gears, decelerate, brake, turn. So these are the examples of methods or also known as behaviors or operations. So that's what happened in an object-oriented program. In your previous programming subjects, we talk about object, instantiation, method, and all other related to that. Recall that an object is an instance of a class. Creating an object is also known as instantiation. A method is a behavior of an object. Within the program, a method usually affects only one particular object. So, can you recall what message passing is? Message passing, also known as method calling, it is the process where an object sends data to another object or asks the objects to invoke a method. On your screen is a sample program that demonstrates OOP. It calls a method from another method which shows how objects pass message from one another. Observe that in line 10 here, we have the method name grit. And in line 13, we have the method name grit2. As you can see, the method grit2 Call the method grid here. Therefore, it passes the message from one another. 
you know, one method to another method. As a result, in our output here, the message in our grid method appears again in the third line of our output. And that's how objects interact with one another by method calling or message passing. And that ends our discussion. Hope these quotes inspires you as you develop your programming skills. And so that's it. Watch out for more video lectures. Stay safe and God bless everyone. Thank you for watching. This is Mom Says, signing off.